Before we begin, shout out to DataCamp for sponsoring today's video. This guy traded a paper clip that is worth nothing with a house that is worth more than $100,000. This story is one of a kind and it's genius. So trust me, this is worth your time. In this small town in Canada, I found Kyle. Hi Nas Daily, I'm Kyle. And this paper clip changed my life. One day, Kyle was sitting at his desk when he looked down and found a red paper clip. Most of us see this as worthless, but Kyle saw an opportunity. I was suddenly reminded of a childhood game where you take small, useless things and trade them for bigger and better things. So he wondered, could he trade a paper clip for something much, much bigger? He took a picture of the paper clip, put it online, and waited for someone to trade with him. When I first posted the picture of the red paper clip, I thought that some people might find it interesting. It was my hope, my desire that I could find people to trade with, but most people thought it was pretty crazy. In fact, most people thought it was a joke. Turns out, these girls wanted to trade with him. They wanted the paperclip, and in exchange, they gave him a pen that looked like a fish. The girls with the fish pen wanted to trade with me to get the game going because uh, they thought it was a really funny idea, and they just thought it would be an interesting thing to be part of, of, of a silly story that I was starting to tell. They were happy, he was happy, and no money was exchanged, just a trade. So he continued. This time, he traded with another person. He gave the pen that looks like a fish for a doorknob. Then another person, a doorknob for a camp stove, a camp stove for a generator, a generator for a snowmobile, a snowmobile for a van. Trade after trade after trade, it got bigger, better, and crazier. I was offered all kinds of bizarre things like virginity and people's firstborn child and many things that are sort of not fit for uh, public consumption. Before he knew it, Kyle had traded all the way up to a role at a Hollywood movie. He had a contract with a director to be featured in his movie and that's when he made the biggest trade of his life. The internet absolutely lost its mind. Everyone said I was just insane, that I'd ruined their lives, I was the worst trader of all time. And then a week later, I revealed that I had actually traded the snow globe for uh, a paid speaking credited role in a Hollywood film. And the sentiment changed and said, wow, like that's the best trade ever. A town in Canada called Kipling wanted that movie role. In return for the Hollywood movie role, the town gave Kyle a two-story house for free. So I made the trade with Kipling, moved into the house, and we had Saskatchewan's biggest housewarming party ever, where thousands of people from all over the world showed up and we had live auditions for the role in the movie. In one year, Kyle made 14 trades and spent zero money. He went from being just another guy with a paperclip to traveling the world, meeting interesting people, becoming famous, and owning a full house. The beautiful thing about this is that every person Kyle traded with was happier after the trade. Trade is how people become richer and better. Without it, the world would be much poorer and worse. Today, many people are scared of trading with other nations because they are scared of losing their jobs. They are scared of losing. The entire way along from the red paperclip all the way to uh, walking through the front door of my new house, I knew that it was possible. And there was times where it was, it was tough and I second guessed my ability to pull this off and make trades with people. I think people who thought that I was crazy for trading a paperclip for a house, the idea of that, I think they were right. But in retrospect, it makes the most perfect sense in the world the way it happened. But Kyle is an example of how you can win a lot if you trade. Heck, you can turn a paperclip into a house. Hey, I 
I'm What's Up Tony and I helped edit this video. But besides that and answering emails and stuff, I suck at computers. I mean, I know where YouTube is, but when it comes to big words like data, Excel, or clouds, I don't know what's going on. Huh? But I know that understanding and analyzing content is important if I want to grow my channel, and that's why I started taking classes on DataCamp. With DataCamp, you learn data science today and apply it tomorrow. And it's not just for creators like me, but also for people like you, you, or you. They have over 300 courses and they honestly make learning something so technical very simple. And I can learn them from anywhere, even my phone. A DataCan subscription starts at only $25 a month for unlimited access to all their courses. I myself really like data science for everyone because if you're new like me, you just have to give it a shot. And the thing is, they're not just sponsoring me, they're also investing in you too. Use the link in the description to check out the first chapter of any course for free. You can thank me later. That's one minute. See you soon for another NAS Daily video.